we continue with our uh, analytical geometry or coordinate geometry. I want us to look at, at how do they ask you questions on completing a square in this section. Remember, uh, this was question 6 in March 2010. The question says, determine the center. Do you know what is the center? And the radius of the circle with the equation. This is the equation of a circle. They want us to, to, to determine the the center and the radius but the problem is that it is not in a standard form if the equation was on this form it was going to be easy for us to find the center and the radius in this particular case we remember that it is always in the form of x minus a all squared plus y minus b all squared equals to r squared so when we are looking for the center, it is this value here. Center, it will be A and B. These are the coordinates of the center. We've got minus, we've got minus. But we've got minus, we've got plus here. Before it was, my, it was plus, it was minus, minus 2. So for this one, the center, A in this particular case is 3. And uh, B or Y coordinate of the center will be a uh, minus two. So I want you to be careful of if it is plus there, it changes the sign as well. And the radius will be equals to 17, square root of 17, because this is radius squared. Remember, this is a radius squared. So when we look for radius, it will be the square root of that. That's how you find the, 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 the radius and the center. Can we change therefore this format to this format? Let's try that. We call that will be, all these are squared. We we'll want to complete something that is squared. Now how do you go about doing that in this particular case? Step number one, you take all the constant terms to the right hand side. That's the first step. This is the constant term, it goes that side. So we're going to have at the same time, I will be arranging the x's and y's together. It will be x squared. Uh, this is another x plus 8x plus y squared. Here's another y plus 4y is equal to take 38 that side, it's 38. That's the first step. Take the, the constant term on the other side and put the x's and y's together. Remember when you have something squared and something squared. This is what this part that is important, that part is also important. Right, how do you complete a square? We'll do, we'll do it on both sides. On, on both uh, these this, this y's and x's. <coughs> the, 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 the method says take half the coefficient of x, square it and add it on both sides. Take half the coefficient of x, square it and add it on both sides. That's another step. So I'm going to have x squared plus 8x. Take half the coefficient of x, so it's plus 4 squared. I've added 4 squared this side, so what must I do this other side? I've got 38. I've got to add 4 squared, four, 4 squared, which is 16 in this case as well. So I've done nothing to this equation. I've added 16 and I've added 16, so it still balances. That was one part, so this becomes very important. I've got to do the same thing in, the, in those two as well. So it's going to be plus the same thing, y squared plus 4y. Take half the coefficient of y, you square it. Take half the coefficient of y, which is 2. You square it, it's going to be 2 squared. You add it on both sides. I've added 2 squared, I've got to add 2 squared here, which is 4 in this case. All right, that's what we have. This is exactly what I wanted. If I check the other side, what do I have? This is 20. 38 plus 20 it is 58. This is, this is 20 plus 38, it is 58. Right? Let me work on this one. I can factorize this, I can factorize that. 
when I factorize this, this is what I will get. Let's factorize this. This is x, this is x. I've put it as 4 squared. Look at, I could have put it as 16, but I know what. If I put it as 4 squared, it makes me see the factors that I'll be using here. It's plus, it's plus. When you multiply that, you'll get that exactly as it is. It's the same thing here. I've got y, I've got y. Factors there, it will be 2 and 2, both plus, both plus. That's what we have. Let's clean it up. This is x squared. This is x plus 4, which is twice, which is squared, plus y plus 2, which is also squared. This is equals to 58. Ah, it is now in my standard form. x minus a, all squared, plus y minus b, all squared equals to r squared. It is in that form. I can now see the coordinates of the center. Therefore, my center, what is x? Ah, remember this is negative. So the answer will be minus minus. So it will be minus 4. What is my y? It is minus 2. These are the coordinates of the center. What is my radius? Radius will be the square root of my radius squared. It will be the square root of 58. This is how you go about finding the center and the radius. The idea here was for you to be able to complete a square, as I've indicated in that particular way. Thank you.